I love the brewing process. I've been doing this for a long time now. You are doing the same thing day in, day out, but there is something special about that pursuit of perfection and taking raw materials and treating them in a very special way and you can create something as enjoyable, as full flavored, as delicious as beer. You truly cannot call a beer, beer, if it doesn't have hops anymore. So hops have, uh, have really transformed the beer industry and they've only made it better. So in regards to hops, uh, our lab is very useful. So whether it's um, doing sensory analysis on beers, whether it's uh, coming up with blending ratios for variations in harvest, any beer made in any brewery, there's a lot of touch points. One of those unsung heroes is really the quality team. We've got a few in that team, but one of them is named Frank. He's definitely one of the smartest people in our business. He's an he's a absolute wealth of knowledge. Today, we're in here, we're in our lab and wonderful brewery in Boolumaba. We've got Frank here, who's in our quality team. Um, we're here to talk about uh, hops and all good things that make up our new wonderful beer, the Hinterland. In terms of hops, we do bitterness measurements to make sure that the beer is not too bitter and bitter enough. Um, we do a little bit of sensory, where we actually physically get the hops to smell it to make sure it doesn't have any off or rancid characters. And we can actually run it through a, an instrument which is in there, where we can actually measure the amount of bitter acids that are present in the hops. So we essentially extract the bitterness compounds out of the, the beer or the wort, and then we measure it on the spec, and the spec then throws a number out at us, which is the bitterness number. Hop is a product that's naturally produced, so you're always going to have some variation in aroma and the bitterness aspect of it. So this also enables us to adjust the recipe for when a new season hop comes along. Absolutely. As we've just uh, spent a lot of time, we've been on farm, we've seen, you know, beer is absolutely made with agricultural products. So yeah, being able to fine tune every season and even just the variations that you get throughout the season. We're gonna go and have a, inspect some of the hops, make sure they're all smelling really good before we uh, throw them into our brew. Always smells good in here, Frank. It does, it smells really nice. All the ingredients are important, but hops are definitely off one of those places in you know, everyone's heart. People become hop heads, they, they love it. They fall in love with it. Hop heads. <laughs> How could you not? How could you not love the smell of that? Let's have a look at some hops. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got right, some big go. secret. We've got some uh, ecl uh, Eclipse there. Eclipse. Let's, let's get a little bit of Galaxy. Uh, nice, nice. Nice little like, trifecta. Yeah, mm. Galaxy's wonderful tropical fruit characters. Um, big secret, it's got a really nice uh, tropical fruit, almost like pineapple-y. And then uh, Eclipse, the new one, is uh, wonderful, so almost like mandarin, yep. citrusy hop character. Beautiful combination. Yeah. I wish the camera could smell. Yes, mellow vision. <laughs> Insulin Hazy, yeah. This is, it's something that we've been trialing for, uh, for a number of years now. We're lucky enough to have a, a great little pilot system in our tasting room, and we get to tinker and play on that thing weekly, essentially. Frank, I got some glasses. Should we go taste the Hinterland Ooh, Hazy? Let's go taste some beer. What's up? Hinterland Hazy has been brewing for a few days. We just wanted to see how it's progressing, see how some of that uh, beautiful dry hop flavor is coming through. Let's have a taste. We've obviously been using these uh, wonderful hops from HPA for a number of years. So we've really been able to dial in what we love about them and how to use them and when to use them. Our new Hinterland Hazy really came about from celebrating Australian ingredients. You know, what is iconic Australian? Australian barley, Australian wheat. And then obviously our good friends at HPA produce and grow some of the most unique and flavorsome hops in Australia. What is the best way of uh, showcasing those those ingredients, well, it's gonna be in something that's got a nice a nice amount of hot flavor and aroma to it. There's definitely some synergies with sort of modern day styles, but we just wanted to create something that was truly Australian uh, and to celebrate the, you know, the relationships that we have with our the suppliers uh, and create something that was, yeah, really special and we hope people enjoy.